Now that we've created our topo solid, we're ready to clear some space to put our building on the site. Now in Revit 2023 and earlier, we had a feature called a building pad, which you'd place on top of a surface and it would level out the ground and allow you to kind of have some space to put a building that would be recessed into the ground. With topo solids, we have to do it a little bit differently. What we're gonna do is create a void Okay, that will be in the place where the building will be located. And we're going to cut the solid with that void to make space, essentially creating something like a building pad, but we just have a new workflow in Revit 24. So let's go ahead and take a look at how we do that. And then we'll do it using a real building to sort of show you how it would actually be implemented on your project. There are several different ways we can go through and create this void in your project. Probably the simplest is to use something called modeling in place, where if I go to the architecture tab and I go into the components, I can create a special component, which is going to have this void property using model in place. And to do that, uh, we'll always go through and choose a type for what we're creating. And I'm going to make this a topo solid. So it'll be in the same type as the solid you already have on the screen. I'm going to call it, oh, my void one. Okay, and we are now ready to start creating. One of the simplest ways to create a component is to create an extrusion. So if we can trace a boundary, we can extrude it up or down to go through and create that. So I can either do it with the extrusion here, or I could say that we're going to do it with a void extrusion. Either way will work. It's just a matter of which one we want to do first. I could say void extrusion. I can draw this in 3D. You'll see that right now it's based on level one, and it goes up about a foot. I'm going to just put one over here to give you a sense of what it's like. Oh, I'll use the rectangle since that'll be a little bit easier. Okay, so I got a big old rectangle over here. It's only a foot deep right now. I'm going to go through and make it be a little bit taller. And finish it up. Okay, you can see that big void kind of hanging out intersecting right now with the topo solid. But you'll notice it isn't cutting anything away just yet. What I have to do, though, is in order to get it to cut away, I'm going to use the Cut Geometry tool. Okay, when we do that, it first says select the geometry to be cut or the void geometry with which to cut. I'm going to select the void first. And then secondarily, I'm going to select what I'm going to cut with that void. Boom. So I've cut one topo solid using the void geometry. Okay, and now we're all set. That is really now creating a space that we can go through and use. So I can finish that up. So that is one way to go through and create that. That's the way that I'd probably recommend doing it. But let's put it into practice the way you probably would for your building. And that would be, you probably have the shape of a building that you want to go through and create kind of this void for. So Let's go ahead and draw some basic walls, and then we'll use those to help us create that. Okay, let's go up to the wall tool and see what we have available. Now, I'd like, oh, maybe like an 8-inch concrete wall. I don't really sort of see an 8-inch concrete wall, so I'm going to actually just choose the generic 8-inch wall. And maybe I'll duplicate that and make it a concrete one. We're going to use those as our basement walls. So I'm just going to change that over here so that we're going to be using the material concrete. Okay, so nice cast in place concrete sounds good. Okay, we have our wall type. Let's go through and look at how it's defined. It's going to go from level one, our basement level, up to level two. That sounds perfect. So I will now. Choose to place it there. Super. So far, so good. But if we go to 3D, you'll see what the problem is. Right now, the topo solid is just going right through the middle of that basement, and that's not what we want. So what we're going to do is go through and change that around just a little bit. Let's go back to level one again, and we'll think about actually just creating a building pad, or in this case, a void that'll kind of have the effect of a building pad. 
to subtract that earth from the middle. And here's what we need to do. We're going to choose component again, model in place. Once again, I'll go through and make that a topo solid. Like that. I'll call this void two in this case. Super. Um, I could again just either use a void form or I can extrude the form here. If I extrude the form as a positive form, okay, if we want to make it a void, we could just choose it right there. That's really the only difference between those two different methods. So that'll be fine. Let me go ahead and say, oh, this starts maybe, I'm going to, in this case, well, I'll let it start at level one and I'll let it go up to 10 feet above level one. That should be fine. We'll say finish. Okay, let's look at that in 3D because we aren't quite done. We still have to void that out. So let's see if I can find that void. It's right there. So I have to cut using that void against that surface. Okay, and now we're doing pretty good. Now, you still may be saying, well, things aren't quite right, because in this case, you can sort of see that the surface of the earth is really kind of, oh, it's invading the concrete wall a little bit. We actually want to cut away just a little bit more than that. So I could go through and make the void a little bit bigger, but I'm going to do something a little bit different, which is actually maybe even a little bit more accurate. And that is, I'm going to actually use the walls that I've placed to actually cut the topo solid. That's a really useful technique if you have a foundation or if you have like a basement walls and you want to make sure that the topo solids on the outside of them, you can actually cut using those. And here's what that looks like. I'm going to use the cut tool and I'm going to start by choosing the topo solid that's to be cut. And then I'm going to choose what I want to cut it with. Use the cut tool. Choose that, and then I'm going to cut it with that. Okay, to finish up, let's go ahead and do that for those final two walls. Again, what I'm going to do is choose the cut, choose the topo solid, and I'll cut it with that wall. And then I'll again use the cut, cut the topo solid, and I'll do it for that wall. Super. So now, if we look around, we are looking good on all sides. We have that space cut out, so we are ready to go ahead and keep on modeling our building with a topo solid cutaway, and we have a clear space for placing our floor and the walls inside there.